Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store. This application is a one-stop solution for all the students who are preparing for government exams. This application is valid just for the Android users. Once you have downloaded the application, you can go and log in through your Gmail ID. And once you have logged in, you will be moved on to this page where you can see the various courses that are offered by us. To avail this course, you can use a code that is CRACK10 to get an additional 10% discount on the purchase you make. If we talk about the course, why this course is so important, how you will be benefiting through this course. If you see, we provide current affairs on the daily basis. On weekly basis as well as monthly basis on daily basis we will be providing you with pdfs of the content of that particular day apart from this you will be getting a quiz on your application that will be of 20 questions quiz on daily basis that will help you in boosting your preparation apart from that on weekly you will be getting a 50 questions quiz for your preparation as well as if you see you will also get a pdf that will contain all the important compiled news current affairs of that particular week and similarly for monthly you will be getting a top 100 questions pdf of that whole month that is very important pdf and will be covering the most important news of that particular month all right apart from this we also cover banking awareness all the banking aspirants those who are preparing for bank exams will absolutely love our course because we cover almost 99.99 percent of the syllabus of your bank exams here you will see we will also provide with quizzes as well as the pdfs o apart from this if you see the topic wise for example there are multiple questions that are related to arbitrary important days who won which event who was awarded with which award so all these topics that are related to your gs also or gk such as apps and web portals these are the current affairs that are important days your books and authors the new applications that were launched new government schemes that were launched by the government or your international affairs or your national affairs all these topics there are 20 such topics of which we are providing the pdf as well as we teach on youtube where you can go and check our channel and you will be surprised that the content that we are providing is absolutely amazing. All right. So this will be helping you to boost your preparation in the long term. This YouTube channel, you can go and subscribe to our channel. That is your affairs cloud that will help you for your revision purpose. Also, apart from this, we cover the state current affairs. Also here you can see the current affairs and all these content that we provide you that are bilingual that means we provide you in english as well as both in hindi also all right so all the students who are from the hindi language will also be benefited through our course also friends you can purchase our course for two years all right also for one year if the students have exam or they are planning for the long term and they want to study for two years and they are expecting to give exam after one year then they can opt for two years as well as if the student is planning to give exam next year then they can go for the one year course also so these are the two types of courses that are available by us in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677-333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. So friends, in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs of May month. The session will be highly important, so do pay attention till the end. Also friends, I'll suggest you all to take out the notes that you have been making for the past one month. And I'll ask you to pause this video here itself and just go through all the notes that you have been making. It will be a quick revision of 10 to 15 minutes. And after that only start watching this video, then only you will see the true benefit of making notes. Let's start. And I hope that you have paused it and you have revised all the current affairs that you have been making. Let's start with the first question. First, we'll be talking about ZED certification. What is this ZED certification? This stands for zero defect, zero effect certification. This certification is also 
valuable at an international level. Recently, Ministry of MSME launched this MSME Sustainable Zero Defect Zero Effect Certification Scheme to provide a roadmap to global competitiveness for the MSME of India. All right, then this certification will also be valid at an international level. And this will be a certificate that yes, that the product for which this Z certification will be given is a valid product and it has been proved by the government. So if we talk about this, at what percent of micro enterprise will receive and receive these subsidies in their respective businesses under this Z certification scheme. So if we are talking about micro, so remember there are three. So if we are talking about micro enterprise, they will be receiving 80% subsidies. If we are talking about small enterprise, they will be receiving 60% subsidies. And if we are talking about medium enterprise, they will be receiving 50% subsidy under this Z certification scheme. All right. This scheme will also focus to reduce wastage to reduce uh, also will focus on sustainability. It will focus on increasing production. It will enhance the environmental consequences. It will save energy. It will optimally use natural resources and expand their markets, etc. These certification will be of three levels, gold, silver, and your bronze. So the correct option according to this micro is your 80% subsidy will be provided under this. Moving on next, we are talking about wave. What is wave wave stands for world of advanced virtual experience. So recently remember the dash bank has recently launched their first digital product. That is a pre approved personal loans under the project wave. I repeat personal loans that is to pre approved personal loans under the project wave. That is your world of advanced virtual experience was launched by which bank it was launched by Indian bank. Highly important. Next, next is the star nine mobility private limited bought 51% of the entire stake of the government of India in the Pawan Hans limited. All right. I repeat star nine has star nine mobility has purchased the entire 51% stake of the government of India in Pawan Hans limited for what amount the amount for which star nine mobility bought 51% stake of government of India is 211.14 crore rupees. Next, before moving on, tell me where was the India's first gene bank? India's first gene bank was set up for biodiversity conservation. It was set up at Maharashtra. Similarly, next question is Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways is set to build India's first indigenous hydrogen fueled electric vessel L dash where this India's first hydrogen fueled electric vessel. I repeat, you have to remember this term hydrogen fueled electric vessel. That is India's first will be built at dash where this will be built. It will be built at Cochin shipyards limited. All right. This is the hydrogen fuel cell vessel based on the low temperature proton exchange membrane technology called fuel cell electric vessel. All right. It is a fuel cell electric vessel based on hydrogen fuel. And this will be built where this will be built at Cochin shipyards limited. And the responsible ministry is the ministry of port shipping and waterways. Next is the indigenous aircraft carrier was constructed by which company recently Indian naval ship Vikrant. That is India's first indigenous aircraft carrier will be delivered to the Indian Navy in the month of May. Question asked is there is this indigenous aircraft INS Vikrant was constructed by which company? Remember, this was also constructed by Cochin Shipyards Limited. So two questions, indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant as well as India's first hydrogen fueled electric vessel also will be built by Cochin Shipyards Limited. Moving on to next. Name the Indian insurance company that recently became the signatory to the United Nations supported principles for responsible investment, which is this particular insurance company. It is your HDFC life insurance company. That is the Indian insurance company that became the signatory to the United Nations PRI. That is your supported principle for responsible investment. The PRI partnership with HDFC will allow it to streamline its responsible investment strategies. Also, apart from this, if question asked to you is that Dash government signed a pact with 
ISMC analog to separate set up a semiconductor fab plant. This was Karnataka government. Karnataka government has recently signed a pact with ISMC analog to set up semiconductor fab plant in. Then apart from this, if I ask you mega health festival, mega health festival, where was this mega health festival observed? This was observed in Pondicherry. Uh, Puducherry. Apart from this, if I ask you, I see Pondi. I see Pondi. This was also the first beach festival observed in Pondicherry. Next, the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India, that is IRDAI, has increased the investment limit by insurance companies to invest in the financial sector to dash percent to 30 percent, which was earlier 25 percent, and it has been increased to 30 percent. Next question. Anshul Swami was appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of which small finance bank? So remember, of Shivalik Small Finance Bank, Anshul Swami. Anshul Swami has been appointed as the managing director as well as CEO of Shivalik Small Finance Bank. Then if I ask you, where will be the nation's first or India's first ethanol plant will be set up? ethanol plant this will be set up in which state in bihar and in bihar too it will be set up in purnia all right where it will be set up in purnia then remember we saw in bangalore what we saw in bangalore the semicon semicon india conference what was this semicon india conference this was basically to promote the manufacturing of semiconductors in India. This Semicon India Conference 2022 was held at Bangalore and this was inaugurated by PM Modi. Moving on, name the Indian badminton player who recently won the bronze medal in the women's singles at the 39th edition of the Badminton Asia Championship that was held at Manila, Philippines. Who is this badminton player? She is PV Sindhu. And she won which medal? She won bronze during the badminton asia championship that was held at manila philippines next in which state india's first greenfield grain based ethanol production plant was inaugurated we just saw this it was inaugurated in purnia where is purnia it is in bihar and it is first grain based ethanol production plant now the other way this question can be asked is what are the grains that will be used so remember maize and rice will be used for this ethanol production and the correct option here is bihar next which organization recently approved 47 million dollar project to support the government of india's mission karam yogi program to strengthen the civil service capacity i repeat which organization approved 47 million dollar project to support the government of India's Karam Yogi program to strengthen the civil service capacity, this amount or the organization that helping India is World Bank. All right, this loan from the International Bank for the Reconstruction Development, this is IR IBRD. IBRD, remember, it is a branch of World Bank only. All right, that will be providing us with 47 million dollar for India's Mission Karam Yogi program. Next. 20th World Press Freedom Index was released by Reporters Without Borders. In this particular World Press Freedom Index, what was the rank of India? The rank of India in this particular World Press Freedom Index is 150 and the country that topped here was Norway. Norway stood at first position in the World Press Freedom Index and this was the 20th edition of the World Press Freedom Index. Next. India's first tribal health observatory was established in Daesh and this tribal health observatory is to keep health records of the tribal people. Alright, to maintain a health record of this tribal people, this particular India's first tribal health observatory was set up where this was set up at which state it was set up in Odisha. Alright, highly important. Apart from this, remember Haryana, if we are talking about Haryana government is setting up a stadium in the hometown of Neera Chopra who won the gold medal for 
javelin throw in tokyo olympic games similarly apart from it you need to remember chara bijai yojana chara bijai yojana what is this chara bijai yojana this is to promote fodder cultivation this was launched by haryana government only and apart from this if we talk about chatisgarh if we are talking about chatisgarh remember chatisgarh has launched mukhya mantri mitan yojana mukhya mantri mitan yojana is basically to provide doorstep services or doorstep delivery of the 100 public services that are being offered by the government so this mukhya mantri mitan yojana was launched by chatisgarh to offer doorstep services of the 100 public services offered by the government similarly moving on in cepa what does e stands for what is cepa remember this cepa was signed between india and united arab emirates this came into effect on 1st of may 2022 this was signed on 18th of feb 2022 now asking here is what is this cepa this stands for comprehensive economic partnership agreement comprehensive economic partnership agreement ce P A. All right. This is a bilateral trade pact between India and UAE that came into pact on first of, or that came into force on first of May twenty twenty two. All right. So C E P A here E means uh, comprehensive economic. So E stands for economic. Next in May, Dash became the first public sector bank to go live on the account aggregator framework, and this was issued by R B I. this was an account aggregator framework was issued by rbi this was a framework of rbi now the question asked here is dash became the first public sector bank to go live on the aa framework that was an initiative of rbi to improve credit delivery so remember it was your union bank of india that became the first public sector bank to go live on the account aggregator framework all right similarly if i ask you here so option here is this now if the next question asked to you is mia ka bada railway station mia ka bada railway station it was renamed to what and this is in rajasthan mia ka bada railway station was renamed to mahesh nagar halt all right mahesh mia ka bada's railway station's new name is mahesh nagar halt and this is in rajasthan next jeevhala what is jeevhala jeevhala is basically a loan scheme for the prisoners to provide them loan of up to 50000 rupees for the education of their family members or any health related work or any other work they can take up to loan of 50000 rupees this jeevhala was started by maharashtra government now coming back the question asked to here is recently sebi s e b i has restructured its secondary market advisory committee that is your smac committee i repeat sebi has recently structured their smac committee secondary market advisory committee question asked here is who will be the chairperson of this 18 member secondary market advisory committee and he will be g mahalingam ji all right he will be the chair of this 18 member secondary market advisory committee that was recently restructured by sebi this makes recommendations to the capital markets regulators on improving the market safety efficiency and transparency if we talk about g mahalingam ji he is the full time member of sebi and now he will be chairing this eight member advisory committee who is the uh, chairperson of sebi she is madhavi puri bag and she the first female to head sebi moving on name the scientist from nasa who received the world food prize 2022 for her research in the climate change and food production the scientist that we are talking about here you have to remember she worked on the effect of climate change on the food production that means how the climate change is affecting the food production why the fruit production is delay or if the temperature is changing then the suitable climate that is responsible for growing any particular crop may also change and that will also deplete the crop in that particular area that will cause problem for humans so remember cynthia rosenberg she is a scientist from nasa who has been awarded with world food prize for the year 2022 
and for what for her research on the effect of climate change on food production moving on to next Name the department that recently won the Prime Minister's Award of Excellence in Public Administration 2020 for its One Nation One Ration Card scheme under the Innovation General category. I repeat, the department that recently won the PM Award for Excellence in Public Administration 2020 for its One Nation One Ration Card is your dash department. It is your Department of Food and Public Distribution. PM Modi conferred the award on the occasion of the 15th Civil Services Day that is observed on 21st of April. Next, as per NSO that is your National Statistics Office this is the office that is responsible for the GDP it gives the GDP uh, estimate GDP of India. So according to NSO the 13th periodic labor force survey was released of unemployment rate that stated that the most unemployment that we are seeing in urban areas declined to dash in the third quarter of 2122 that is from october to december in 2021 from 10.3% in the quarter 3 of 2020 so remember as per this nso they release the 13th edition of the periodic force labor survey a periodic labor force survey of unemployment persons of 15 years and above in the urban areas that stated that for the third quarter of 2021 the unemployment rate was 8.7% all right in the urban areas moving on which company recently became the first indian company to reach 100 billion us dollar revenue in the fiscal year 2022 this is your reliance industries limited important question all right moving on similarly if i ask you which is the most valuable company in the world as per the market cap as per the market cap that is your saudi armaco they have replaced apple to become the world's most valuable company it is a petroleum company next who was recently appointed as the part time chairman of city union bank for a period of 2 years i repeat who has been appointed as the chairman of that to part time chairman of city union bank for a period of 2 years he will be m narayan ji here the option is not given let me give you the fifth option m narayan became the part time chairman of city union bank for a period of 2 years and he will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding r mohan he will be succeeding r mohan to become the part time chairperson of city union bank for a period of 2 years next how many total seats are created in jammu and kashmir as per the delimitation commission so remember as per the delimitation commission total seats that has been created in jammu and kashmir are how many they are 90 moving on which company designed the high speed regional train here we are talking about rrts that is your regional rapid transit system this regional rapid transit system will be between delhi to meerut india has received the first semi high speed regional train for delhi meter delhi to meerut regional rapid transit system project this high speed regional train has been developed by allstorm remember allstorm is the name of the company all right and this high speed regional train will be working between delhi to meerut this is a 82.5 km long distance that will be covered using this this train will can run up to 180 km per hour and it is expected that on launching of this train the distance or the time required between transmit of uh, transit of delhi to meerut or from meerut to delhi will be reduced by 40% next according to the mercoms india solar project tracker dash became the first state to develop 10 gigawatts of solar power generation as i told you the first state in india that became the first state to reach a goal of 10 gigawatt of solar energy is your rajasthan see all the questions are from the notes itself that i have been asking you to make so the correct option here becomes rajasthan 
नेक्स्ट द कमिटी विल बी हेडेड बाय होम बट व्हाट कमिटी लेट मी टेल यू वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेवी हैज फॉर्म एन एडवाइजरी कमिटी एन एडवाइजरी कमिटी वॉज फॉर्म बाय सेवी फॉर द इन्वायरमेंटल सोशल गवर्नेंस रिलेटेड मैटर्स नॉ द क्वेश्चन आस्ट इज हु विल बी चेयरिंग और हु विल बी द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ दिस ई एस जी कम्युनिटी दैट वॉज रिसेंटली फॉर्म्ड बाय सेवी सो दिस कमिटी विल बी हेडेड बाय नवनीत मनोज जी नेक्स्ट एंड हु इज नवनीत मनोज ही इज द नवनीत मनोज इज द सीईओ ऑफ एच डी एफ सी म्यूचुअल फंड मूविंग ऑन इन मे फिफ्थ रोमेन रोलैंड बुक प्राइज ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज अवॉर्डेड टू द बेंगोली ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द फ्रेंच नॉवल मेरूसॉल्ट काउंटर एटिक द मेरूसॉल्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन दिस बुक वॉज ट्रांसलेटेड बाय होम दिस बुक वॉज ट्रांसलेटेड बाय त्रिनंजन चक्रवर्ती त्रिनंजन चक्रवर्ती ट्रांसलेटेड दिस बेंगोली बुक रिमेंबर ऑल राइट एंड हु वन द फिफ्थ एडिशन ऑफ रोम एंड रोल एंड बुक प्राइज दिस बुक प्राइज हैज बिन अवॉर्डेड टू द बेंगोली ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ अ फ्रेंच नॉवल All right, Bengali translation of a French novel that is the Mersault investigation. The award ceremony was organized by the French Institute in India. This is a debut novel of an Algerian writer and journalist, Camel Dodd. So this book is authored by Camel Dodd. Remember the name of the author also. Here the question asks is who translated? It was translated by Trinanjan Chakrabarti. Moving on, if we are talking about the world's longest glass bottom bridge it is located in which country this was given to you as homework also this is located in vietnam and it is known as white dragon the name of the bridge is known as white dragon or this name uh, this white dragon is also known by the name back long pedestrian bridge of vietnam Name the personality who won the Pulitzer Prize 2022 award in journalism under the feature photography category. So remember, multiple people have won this award. They are Adnan Abidi, Sanan Irshad Mato, Amit Dev, and Dani Siddiqui. Important one you need to remember about Dani Siddiqui. Dani Siddiqui was the journalist who died during the in Afghanistan, and it was our uh, news was that he was killed by the Afghanistan's itself. So these are the four Indians who have been awarded with the 2022 Pulitzer Prize in Journalism under the Feature Photograph category. Next, which aerospace company from Bangalore was recently tested or has recently tested India's first high-performance green propulsion system for satellites? I repeat, it is your Bellatrix Aerospace that is an aerospace company from Bangalore, and they have recently tested India's first. high speed performance green propulsion system for the satellites what is this new green propulsion this has a significantly reduced the toxicity compared to hydrazin earlier we used to use hydrazin which was uh, toxic as well as it was not easy to store and handle this new fuel has created an easy handling of this green propellant and it is eco friendly and it is also a non hydrazin based fuels hydrazins are also toxic so correct option here is ballistic aerospace next dash became the first asian country to join north atlantic treaty organization that is your nato's cooperation on defense on not nato's cooperative cyber defense center i told you there was a cyber defense corporation of nato and the first country or first asian country to join this nato cyber security cooperation cooperation was your south korea what was the reason china and your north korea they these two countries are continuously doing cyber attacks on south korea so in order to be safe south korea became the first asian country to join nato cyber defense corporation cyber nato cyber defense center of excellence you can say so the correct option here is south korea If I ask you, NATO also conducted their biggest cyber security exercise in Estonia. What is the name of that exercise? Locked Shields. Next, which country was recently elected as the chair of Association of Asian Election Authorities for twenty two to twenty four? So remember, for this period, India has been elected as the chair of Association of Asian Election Authorities, and India from India, the Election Commission of India represented this particular meeting. Moving on, which country recently replaced Russia in the UN Human Rights Council via 
voting it was your which country it was your czech republic that has replaced russia in the united nations human right council through a voting process next repco subiksham is a special deposit scheme for dash this repco subiksham is a new repartite welfare scheme of repco bank an app for repco microfinance limited now the question asked here is that repco subiksham it is a special deposit scheme for whom this will be targeting whom this repco subiksham will be targeting senior citizens as well as super senior citizens next which organization recently signed an mou with the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare to provide technical assistance to pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana and kisan credit kisan credit card modified interest subvention scheme so which is this organization this is your UNDP that is your United Nation Devo Development Program has signed an MOU with the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare to provide technical assistance to Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana and Kisan Credit Card Modified Interest Subvention Scheme. If we talk about United Nation Development Program, their headquarters is in New York. Moving on, Exim Bank has provided dash amount of LOC line of credit to SBM. Infrastructure Development Company that is of Mauritius for Metro Express and infrastructure projects. So remember, Exim Bank has provided hundred and ninety million dollar line of credit to SBM that is of Mauritius Infrastructure Development Company for Metro Express and infrastructure projects. Next, Government of India recently contributed eight hundred thousand US dollar to. Extend the use of Hindi language at the United Nation. Highly important question. So, in order to expand the use of Hindi at the United Nations, India has donated an amount of eight hundred thousand US dollar. Next, who was recently appointed as the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka after the resignation of Mahinda Rajapaksa? So, remember, Ranil Vikram Singhe has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. Similarly, remember. There is a high crisis going on, high economic crisis, severe economic crisis going on Sri Lanka as of now, and there is no current future that what we cannot predict what is going to happen in Sri Lanka in the upcoming foreseeable days. Next, name the personality who was recently appointed as the chief executive officer and the managing director of Air India. He is Campbell Wilson. He has been appointed as the chief executive officer and md of air india if we talk about air indian force they have recently tested the first extended range version of the brahmo supersonic cruise missiles from which aircraft remember indian air force tested this first extended range of brahmo supersonic cruise missile using the fighter jet that is your sukhoi 30 mark 1 Then remember the Brahmo supersonic cruise missile has achieved a speed of 2.8 Mach. The range, extended range of this particular Brahmo supersonic cruise missile is now around 350 kilometers, which was earlier 290 kilometers. Next is which country has the world's longest suspension footbridge named Skybridge 721 that was recently opened? This was opened at Czech Republic. I repeat, important question. If asked world's longest suspension footbridge, it will be Skybridge 721 of Czech Republic. And if it asked world's longest glass bottom bridge, it is in Vietnam by the name Long Beck or White Dragon. This is the name of the bridge. Next, uh, Indian government made a requirement of permanent account number, PAN number, or Aadhaar number mandatory for the deposit or withdrawals of dash or more in a fiscal year. So remember, India government of India has made requirement of PAN number or your Aadhaar card mandatory for the deposits or withdrawals of twenty lakh or more in a fiscal year. So the correct option here is option one. Next is name the personality who recently topped the Forbes top ten list of the world's highest paid athletes. So remember, who is he? He is Lionel Messi. He is a footballer. All right, and recently he has been named as, or he has topped the Forbes list of top ten list of the world highest paid athletes. He is Lionel Messi. He is from Argentina. 
वी नो रिसेंटली द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा विप्लव कुमार देव गेव द रेजिग्नेशन नाउ द क्वेश्चन कास्ट इज रेज हु इज द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा आफ्टर द रेजिग्नेशन ऑफ विप्लव कुमार देव ही इज मानिक सरकार सो रिमेंबर मानिक सरकार विल बी रिप्लेसिंग होम ही विल बी रिप्लेसिंग विप्लव कुमार देव एज द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा ऑल्सो रिमेंबर मानिक सरकार विल बी द ट्वेल्थ चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम द पर्सनैलिटी हु वॉज रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ही इज राजीव कुमार राजीव कुमार विल बी रिप्लेसिंग हुम राजीव कुमार विल बी रिप्लेसिंग सुशील चंद्रा टू बिकम द न्यू ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर नेक्स्ट शेख मोहम्मद बिन जैद अल नायन हैज रिसेंटली बीन इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री ही हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स इट इज द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट आई आई टी आउटसाइड इंडिया विल बी डेवलप्ड हेयर दिस हैज बीन पोर्टेड इन टू द ग्रे लिस्ट ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एफ ए टी एफ हु इज द प्रेजिडेंट टी राजा कुमार इज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एक्शन टास्क फोर्स एंड ही इज द फर्स्ट सिंगापुरियन हुज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ और द हेड ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एक्शन टास्क फोर्स नेक्स्ट रामगढ़ विश्वधारी टाइगर रिजर्व बिकेम द फोर्थ टाइगर रिजर्व इन विच स्टेट सो रामगढ़ टाइगर रामगढ़ विश्वधारी टाइगर रिजर्व इट बिकेम द फोर्टीन टाइगर रिजर्व ऑफ राजस्थान ऑल राइट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर रामगढ़ विश्वधारी सेंचुरी वॉज रिसेंटली नोटिफाइड एज इंडिया फिफ्टी सेकेंड टाइगर रिजर्व एंड द फोर्थ टाइगर रिजर्व ऑफ राजस्थान एंड फिफ्टी सेकेंड टाइगर रिजर्व ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट एज पर द वर्ल्ड बैंक माइग्रेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ब्रीफ थर्टी सिक्स विच कंट्री रिटेन द पोस्ट टॉप पोजिशन इन द मोस्ट रेसिपेंट ऑफ रेमिटेंसिस ग्लोबली इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉट इज द रेमिटेंसिस आर बेसिकली हेल्प और यू कैन से द हेल्प दैट वॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू मोस्ट हेल्प प्रोवाइडेड टू कंट्री मोस्ट हेल्प इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी दैट वॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू वॉज योर इंडिया सो एज पर द वर्ल्ड बैंक माइग्रेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ब्रीफ थर्टी सिक्स India retained its position as the top recipient of remittances globally in the year 2021 it was followed by Mexico at second position and China at third position next as per the report released by OICA that is your organization international day construction day automobile india has surpassed germany to become the fourth largest vehicle market in the world if we talk about the fourth it is india so who is the first second and third so if we are talking about this remember first is china second us third japan fourth was germany but now india has replaced germany to be the fourth position in the largest vehicle market in the world next as per the world bank recently world bank has approved a amount of 350 million dollar funding for shresht g project implementation what is shresht shresht stands for systems reforms systems reforms endeavor for transformed health achievement in gujarat that is your shresht project implementation 350 million dollar was approved by world bank next Which state recently named Nanjarayan Tank as the seventeenth bird century? It is your Tamil Nadu has ranked Nanjarayan Tank as the seventeenth bird century. Also remember, breakfast scheme for the primary school students was launched by Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu M K Stalin. Next, which organization recently partnered with I F L Home Finance Limited to provide green affordable home loans in Telangana? and andhra pradesh by 2025 it was your adv that is your asian development bank has partnered with iifl home finance limited to provide green affordable home loans in telangana and andhra pradesh by 2025 next who was recently appointed as the chairman of bombay stock exchange limited important question ss mudra ji has been who was the uh, ss mudra ji who has been appointed as the chairman of bombay stock exchange highly important all right ss mudra subhash sharatan mudra ji next 
एंड हु ही विल बी रिप्लेसिंग एस एस मुद्रा जी विल बी रिप्लेसिंग जस्टिस विक्रम जी सेन ऑल राइट हु वॉज अपॉइंटेड इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सिक्स सो एस एस मुद्रा जी विल बी रिप्लेसिंग जस्टिस विक्रम जी सेन नेक्स्ट इन विच सिटी वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट अर्बन एयरपोर्ट फॉर ड्रोन एंड फ्लाइंग कार्स इज लोकेटेड दिस इज लोकेटेड इन यूनाइटेड किंगडम एंड इन यू के टू वेर इट इज लोकेटेड इट इज लोकेटेड इन कवेंट्री इंग्लैंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट अर्बन एयरपोर्ट फॉर ड्रोन एंड फ्लाइंग कार्स इट इज लोकेटेड इन कन्वेंट्री इंग्लैंड यूके दिस प्रोजेक्ट एम्स टू रिड्यूस अर्बन कंजेशन एंड पॉल्यूशन इट इज डिजाइन फॉर जीरो एमिशन इलेक्ट्रिक ड्रोन एंड एयर टैक्सीज एंड द एयरपोर्ट इट सेल्फ इज पावर्ड बाई हाइड्रोजन फ्यूल सेल्स नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसेंटली टेस्ट फायर द फर्स्ट नेवल एंटीशिप मिसाइल अलॉन्ग विद द इंडियन नेवी एट द इंटीग्रेटेड टेस्ट रेंज इन बालासोर ओडिशा विच इज योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस वॉज डन बाई डी आर डी ओ दैट इज योर डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेक्स्ट Recently, which country plans to launch Chess? What is Chess? Chess stands for Close by Habitable Exoplanet Survey. This is the world's first habitable planet search with space telescope, and this was launched by which country? It was launched by China. Also, remember, for biggest electric vehicle cruise ship was also built by China. Next, Greenco Group is set ready to set up the world's largest. Integrated Renewable Energy Storage Project. I repeat, Integrated World's Largest Integrated Renewable Energy Storage Project was recently set up by Greenco Group. And where was this set up? This was set up into the Kurnool district of Andhra Pradesh. Where was this set up? World's Largest Integrated Renewable Energy Storage Project. It was set up at Kurnool district of Andhra Pradesh. This project is to be commissioned by the last quarter of 2023. Next. Which organization and Korea Forest Service has recently organized the fifteenth WFC twenty twenty one with the theme of building a green, healthy, and resilient future with forest? It is your Food and Agriculture Organization of United Nation along with Korea Forest Service has uh, organized the fifteenth World Forestry Congress that is your fifteenth WFC at the Republic of. Korea from second uh, to sixth of May. This was organized from second to sixth of May. Here we are talking about World Forestry Congress. That is the fifteenth edition of the World Forestry Congress that was organized by FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, along with your Korea Forest Service. Next, which airway recently got the Director General of Civil Aviation, that is your DGCA, not? to resume the commercial flight operations after being grounded since 2019 which is this airline it is your jet airways next and they were uh, banned or they were grounded since 2019 due to some debt issues moving on who was recently reappointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of paytm he is vijay shekhar sharma and he has been appointed as the ceo as well as md of paytm next who was recently reappointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of infosys for a period of 5 years who is he tell me he is salil parekh has been appointed reappointed as the md as well as ceo of your infosys bank and that too for a period of 5 years next bio rrp recently ministry of science and technology has launched a single portal a single national portal named bio rrp for biotechnology research and startups in order to increase the startups as well as research on biotechnology this bio rrp portal was launched the full form of this bio rrp stands for biological research regulatory approval portal i repeat biological research regulatory approval portal so here what does second r stands for that is this so biological research regulatory r here stands for regulatory this bio rrp portal will assist all those seeking regulatory approvals for biological research and development activities in india providing a significant boost to ease of science and ease of doing business next 
RBI has set up a six member committee to review the customer service standards in RBI regulated entities. So this committee who will be reviewing the customer service standards in the RBI regulated entities will be headed by whom? This committee will be headed by Bibu Prasad Kanuga ji. Bibu Prasad Kanuga ji. Next, which of the following Indian personalities were among the list of the top 100 most influential people of 2022 that was published by Time Magazine and they are Gautam Adani and Karuna Nadiji. They both has been listed into the top 100 most influential people of 2022 and this list is published by Time Magazine. So the correct option is option 4. Next, who was recently appointed as the 22nd Lieutenant Governor of the National Capital Territory of Delhi he is Vinay Kumar Saxena ji. Remember, Lieutenant Governor is of a Union Territory and similarly, if we are talking just about Governor, he will be of a State. This is the difference you should know. So, Vinay Kumar Saxena, remember, he is the 22nd Lieutenant Governor of Delhi and he will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Anil Baijal ji, Lieutenant Governor Anil Baijal ji. And who is the new governor, Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena? Next, who was recently appointed as the part-time chairman of IDBI Bank for a term of three years? He is TN Manoharan ji. Next, as per the World Economic Forum's Travel and Tourism Development Index for 2021, the rank of India was 54th. Whereas, who topped in this particular index? Japan secured the first position in the World Economic Forum's travel and tourism development index if we are talking about world economic forum remember recent meeting was held at davos and from indian side who led the delegation it was piyush goelji who led the indian delegation at davos for the world economic forum also one more thing you should know the theme of this world economic forum's travel and tourism development index the theme was rebuilding for a sustainable and resilient future i repeat Theme for this World Economic Forum's Travel and Tourism Development Index 2021 is Rebuilding for a Sustainable and Resilient Future. Next, which company recently surpassed Apple Incorporation to become the world's most valuable company? It is your Saudi Aramco. Who was recently elected as the Director General of the World Health Organization for a period of five years and he has been appointed for the second time? His time period has started from 2017 to 2022 and now he has been also appointed as for the second time as the director general of world health organization and he will be continuing till 2022 to 2027 he is tetris gibrises next name the personality who was recently appointed as the chief executive officer of indico with effect from 1st of october 2022 he is peter albers option not given here option 5 i'll give you option 5 here peter Albers, he has appointed. He has been appointed as the CEO of the Indigo Bank with effect from first of October. He will be replacing whom? Peter Albers. He will be replacing Ronojoy Datta. Next, which country recently conducted the third edition of the bilateral exercise? Bongo Sagar along with India. Remember, Indian Navy along with Bangladesh Navy conducted this third edition of Bongo Sagar in the northern part of Bay of Bengal. Alright, this was the third edition of this Bongo Sagar between the Indian Navy as well as Bangladesh Navy in the northern part of Bay of Bengal. Next, Dash became the first women combat aviator to join the Indian Army Aviation Corps at the helicopter pilot who is she she is abhilasha Barak. she is from haryana and she became the first woman to combat aviator to join the indian army aviation corps as the helicopter pilot next the cabinet committee on economic affairs recently approved the sale of the government's 29.58 percent stake in which company for 38,000 crore rupees so remember CECEA that is your cabinet committee on economic affairs recently approved the sale of government's 29.58% stake in Hindustan Zinc Limited for staggering 38,000 crore rupees next we are talking about YONO YONO is basically an application for SBI users this is a mobile app so recently remember SBI has launched the personal loan product named Express Credit 
this express credit is the name of the personal loan product that for is for salaried customers on its digital banking platform yono next paramporal where this paramporal will be set up paramporal is set up at nit trichupalli remember this and this is uh, paramporal this supercomputer is set up at nit trichupalli under the national supercomputing mission and this has a speed of 838 teraflops all right and we know in what do we measure the speed of supercomputer in terms of flops that is floating operations per second it will cost around 19 crore rupees to build this particular supercomputer at nit trichupalli cyclone asani this name was given by whom cyclone asani see there are two names one is asani and second is your kareem this they both are the name same name of a two different names of same cyclone so asani was given by sri lanka and kareem was given by shishels all right so question can be asked that asani name to the cyclone was given by sri lanka and kareem was given by shishels remember this cyclone asani uh, affected andhra pradesh odisha as well as west bengal in india so the correct option here becomes option 1 apart from this if i ask you uh tell me operation satark operation satark who started this it was started by railway protection force this was from 5th to 30th of april apart from this if question asked to here is india's first flow chemistry technology hub where was the setup it was set up at hyderabad then rajasthan became the first state to achieve a target of 10 gigawatt of solar energy capacity eighth wonder of sco was your statue of unity then apart from this if i ask you next if i ask you tell me who has been appointed as advisor to the prime minister narendra modi advisor to pm he is tarun kapoor apart from this if i ask you witley gold award witley gold award was won by whom witley gold award was won by charudat mishra all right then apart from this remember who won the world food prize we just saw cynthia rosenberg she is a uh, scientist at nasa for the her work that is how climate change is affecting the food production apart from this remember two exercises of nato one was swift response another was defender euro third exercise is lock shield this is a biggest cyber security exercise that was conducted in estonia and these two were conducted in poland next if i ask you isro is planning a mission on venus by what year tell me by what year india uh, isro is planning to launch a mission to venus it is december 2024 by december 2024 india is planning isro is planning to launch a mission to venus then next if i ask you skill india international center where this will be set up varanasi it will be set up at varanasi then if we are talking about niti ayog Niti Aayog has launched National Data Analytics Platform. Similarly, remember Amit Shah inaugurated National Cyber Forensic Laboratory where in Hyderabad. All right, then Lok Milni. What is Lok Milni? It is basically a redressal, a scheme for the redressal of public complaints or public grievances that was launched by Punjab. Punjab's Chief Minister launched it. then next we are talking about the first state of india to have their ott platform that is your over the top platform it is your kerala and the name of this ott platform is c space then which is the 17th bird century of tamil nadu it is your nanjarayan tank india became the fourth largest vehicle market after replacing germany next is your uh next question is world's high 
highest weather station where was this set up at mount everest and who set up it it was set up by net geo that is your national geographic that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official apart from this friends you can go and follow me also on my personal instagram handle that is vikas underscore double r a n a you can go and follow me in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue